everybody and welcome back to another brand new reaction with me and Megan where today it's a, a special bonus reaction as part of 57th anniversary week I guess we could call it Doctor Who week whatever you want to call it the anniversary week ish whatever uh so basically today as you can see from the title we were finally watching something which loads of people requested about six months ago when we watched Day of the Doctor which was An Adventure in Space and Time which aired two days before the 50th anniversary special back in Crazy. 2013 it's all about the beginning of doctor who sort of dramatization of how doctor who was basically created in the very first place written by the mark gatiss probably this is better than most of his doctor episodes but that's another matter uh, but it's fine um do you are you i know it's quite long but are you looking forward to watching I am. this i'm Could excited or, i have my like popcorn this? ready to yes it's a popcorn moment this reaction so um yeah look out for the popcorn moments throughout this video um but yeah i really hope you guys enjoy it uh, I don't really want any. Hi. And, um, <laughs> I hope you enjoy this brand new reaction. Please let us know what you think of this um, docudrama, I think it's officially called, um, in the comments below. And uh, hit the like button and the subscribe button for this week. There's lots of brand new content to come as well, so don't miss that. But apart from that, let's get into a brand new reaction. When you embark on an adventure in space and time. It's very clever. David Bradley. Cool title. See, that's like the original title sequence. Or... Is it? Style such as one. Okay, yeah. the master, yeet. It just looks like a kaleidoscope that they're like mm. holding up against the light. Well, it's because like... they put a camera. Well, actually, no, you'll see what happens. They'll show you that oh. during this, this thing. You'll see how they create the sequence. Very excited. When was this created? Like, what doctor was the doctor at the time? This was Matt Smith. So this is just for the 50th anniversary that they made this. But it's not obviously, obviously got nothing to do with the current show. Mm. It's I about... just wanted to do the yeah, context. No, exactly, yeah. It's from just for, just for the day of the doctor. So is Matt going to be in there? Don't know. There's not any reason for him to be. Don't know. This is set in the 1960s. Unless you do know. Well, yeah, I know, but I'm not telling you. Is that the doctor? Is he going to nick the police box? Well, that's William oh, Hartnell. Oh, yeah, William Hartnell. Everything all right, sir? Are you okay? Are you okay? You don't look okay. Oh. He looks like a troubled man. It's the original TARDIS. Original Cyberman. Ah! It's ugly. That is the original Cyberman. And he's having a drag. Nice. Year on it. Come back two years. Three years. So the year that Doctor was created. Oh, nice car. Love it. So cute. Yeah. That guy played on the very first Doctor Companions. Played Ian. Is that where the Beeb is? This is, this is the old television centre. This is in Broadcasting House. Oh. They've, they've sort of changed Where is the bit. television centre? That's in White City. In, in London? Yes, yeah, in London. But it's a different part of London to where I was. I never actually been there, sadly. And now it's not the same as it used to be. Is it still standing? Parts of it. Is this it? I don't know. I can't remember. I think it might be. I think it was just before they shut it. Huh? You're a juvenile boy. We're maybe all maybe juvenile boy, boys. That's, well, that was the per perception of sci fi in 1963. Oh. Oh, it's her. She's yes, from the Midwife. Exactly. She's one of the main characters in this. That's Jessica Rain. She's in Doctor Who. I well. love Jessica Rain. There you go. I like his waistcoat and his bow tie. It's <laughs> good that. He looks great. The kids at home should learn something. <gasps> a female producer? Sure. They've never had a female producer here. Sit down. Crazy. First female producer. You're just what this place needs. Someone with piss and vinegar in their veins. Thanks. Nice. <laughs> I think. I did a show called Pathfinders for ITV. <laughs> Very healthy lifestyle. Was he famous before? He did a lot of like army films and stuff like that beforehand. Um, he wasn't super famous, but he did films and stuff. Oh, here she goes. <laughs> that is quite a cool building, to be fair. Yeah. It's really cool. 
Oh, sure. they've, they've turned some of it into flats now, I believe, and so the rest of it is like used by various different television companies rather than just by the BBC, which is what it used to do. That's a shame. Yeah, it is sad. Why are they laughing at her? She's great! Because they think the idea of a female producer is ridiculous. Can't deal with a female authority, can he? Because they're stupid. Mm. Like children's TV? What? No. There is not a familiar face. He wants to die. Yes, literally. He should die. <laughs> Savage. I want him to die. Okay, wow. I hope they kill him off. Gosh. Well, I'm sure he'll be happy and away from us. There you go, he's gone. Oh, good. It's Toby Haydock, I didn't even realise that. Oh. Red wine, please. Vodka and tonic and a red wine, please. You won't have an idea who he is, but it's, that's called Toby Haydock. Sure like <laughs> <laughs> Bit of flirting. That she didn't get here standing up, did she? Wow, that's a bit harsh. But so many people have been at the birth of the thing. You've been here all day. Oh, it's the theme tune. Tell me about the character. So, the school teachers follow her home, but home... Sketchy. ...is a junkyard. Yes, it's a trip. I need to see trip. Oh, they're going wonderfully. <laughs> wonderfully. Of course. The BBC are really excited. Oh, Christ. That's terrifying. No, That's the Derbyshire who helped create the theme tune. Oh, you That's the TARDIS. That's so clever. Theme tunealisation sound. It's a great one. Doctor Who. There you go. There's the. In the original Aww. cast, you see. They're actually in it. Well, no, those aren't the real people because oh. they'll be really old. But true, actually. Yeah. Recasted Susan, Barbara, and Ian. Oh, it's the set. Yeah. I recognise the the scrap thingy. Yeah. Scrapyard, Totters Lane. Find a way to deal with this stuff. Oh, he can't come and save the day for her, can he? Not every time, anyway. Mm. Here, madam. Here's your bloody TARDIS. There you go. Simple as that. The console and the round things. That's really how they thought of it. I think so. I can't guarantee 100%, but I assume so, at least roughly. And there you go. Still bloody big. Anyone else hot? Yeah. Can we do something about the heat? I thought we'd be used to it. What? Nothing. That's not a racist what? joke. Five minutes, chum. Can we turn the lights out? Welcome to the 1960s. Okay, everyone. Quiet, please. <laughs> Let me see this in the 60s, so it's not the sort of thing you can just edit out. Huh? They couldn't edit stuff yeah. out back in the 60s, it's all like live. So they screw up with the doors just to stuck in. Huh? So like they screw up with the doors are just stuck in the program. And the heat set the sprinklers off. And the what? The heat set the sprinklers off. You know, there was a line earlier on where they said that if it gets to a very hot, the sprinklers go off in the studio. Surely that would damage the cameras. I would have thought so as well, but they seem to. <laughs> oh dear, Sasha, it's okay. It's okay, my friend. It's really not lovely life there. Do the whole thing again. 
no. See, see, that version they just shot is the one that we accidentally watched. That one time we watched the first episode, that was oh, the pilot. Yeah. And then they reshot it, and that's the one they actually showed on the TV. This next one they're going to make. Hideous machine-like creatures. The Cybermen. The on a flexible shaft. Oh, no. Dial it. As an eye, you will move ahead of us and follow my directions. Ian breaks away and dashes for it. Exterminate. <laughs> Exterminate. The identity of the assassin remains unconfirmed at this time. It was a Dalek. No, it's not. You see, what happened was. Oh. It the day the same before, time. I think it was either the day before the day, the American president was sh killed. Yes. And, and then so Doctor no. Who aired, so nobody would be watching Doctor Who. Because Poor they were obviously boy. watching the news. There you go. Oh. Yeah. So nobody was watching it when it first went out. That's sad. I'm afraid Miss Lambert doesn't know what she's doing. First cavemen, now silly robots. You're lying! But you're not to do any more than these four episodes you've already got in production. Kill it, Sydney. Kill Doctor Who. No, I'll kill you. i kill you first. <laughs> A knockout. We've just got to hold our nerve. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll talk to the high ups. Boom. Thank you. Nailed it. You better be right about these Daleks. <laughs> Let me be very clear, young lady. Who yes. knows if she was or not? <laughs> mm, do we? <laughs> This is about the plot we'd have though. Do we you first off? Oh, someone inside it. That's what it's like inside a Dalek. Just how cramped it is. There they are, the original Daleks. They look great. Mm -hmm. Obviously it was went black and white, but they look perfect. They look. I love them. And that's how similar they still look to today, don't they? Basically the same. Yeah. After fifty five years. Seven. Yes. Aww. No goes like that, because you're Doctor Who. That, that, that's right. Oh, this is so cute! Ten million viewers for your bug-eyed monsters. Ten million. So, what do I know about him? <laughs> success. The Daleks brought success. I to the love show. it. Oh. <laughs> Our great big fat enormous bloody audience. <laughs> Careful, jeez! <Yeah. laughs> oh, You'd catch fully die. You would just yeah. die. It's a little dangerous. But it's fine. Oh, is he okay? That's just for the character. Oh. Quickly, child. You should be more careful, sweetheart. Throwing your mummy around like that. It's an insecure profession, you know. You should all bear that in mind. Fancy anything at new, Machiavelli? That's a bit, <laughs> bit, you know, up front. Yeah. Not a child. I spent it how I left. <laughs> Aww. Yeah, he did a couple of stories at the very end of the show, and that was it. Aww. They helped get the show going, basically. Oh, the it's so play cute. Suit. They were like the most popular children's toy, like in the mid '60s. Hello, my darling. 
It's a plunger. Yes, I She's know. She's literally holding a plunger. Yes, well, that's the point. Really no Dr. Daniel. Do you have any of them? Don't have any really old ones, no. It'd be cool to have some of the old ones. But... So cool. How much are they worth now? Yeah, some, I can't... I think there's like, re probably the originals so cost loads of money, but there's a reprint of it, don't cost much. Like when are Daleks coming back? Daleks, <laughs> they're taking over the ruddy world. Well, it's what they do best, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh, wow! Wow! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on, keep up! That's a safeguarding nightmare, though. <laughs> it's the 1960s and the teachers are there, it's fine. <laughs> Roll with it. Come on, it's too emotional. Daleks on London Bridge. There's an actual episode like this. Was there? Yeah. On Dalek. actual real London Yeah, Bridge. Dalek Invasion of Earth. Yeah, they went all around London. Like, they filmed it, like, early on a Sunday morning when everybody was out and did a load of Daleks round. It's quite cool. He's holding it upside down. That's what you do. Oh. And then you spin it around at the end. I need a wee. Oh, he's going to be sad without her. Until then, there must be no regrets, no tears, no anxieties. This is an iconic speech. Just go forward in all your beliefs and prove to me that I am not mistaken in mine. Goodbye, Susan. Goodbye, my dear. He's leaving her behind. No, he doesn't like goodbyes. The doctor never likes goodbyes. Mm. Whether it's the real person, the actor, or the real the character. Three to sixty-five. You okay? No, I'm not. <laughs> in the blue, it's a new companion, yeah. Vicky, who replaced Susan. Who's Vicky? She's a new companion who replaced Susan. Is she his granddaughter as well? No, she's just another character who's like sort of a similar vein to her, but like from the future, I think, or something. And it's quite intelligent. He's trying. Mm. Oh. He smokes too much. He drinks too much. These days, the yes. Those really were characters in an episode. Wow. Yep. Now, Robbie. Plus doing Doctor Who virtually all year. Oh. oh What's this? Oh, getting rid of him. No, she's moving on. She's not going to be a producer anymore. She's passing what? somebody else. Oh. You know, and he doesn't do well with goodbyes anyway. Many... Many light earth, light years from us, from, from, from earth. And yet the uh, Vortis, Vortis planet hasn't a moon. Hmm? This is what happened in his later years of his uh, right. run. As he struggled, he was really struggling with his lines. There's lots of moments where he would fluff lines and mess things up in episodes. Since that day you first started telling me about Doctor Who, I, I've been spellbound. 
no doubt. But look at us now, eh? Just look at us. Our yeah. losses are in butter. No. <laughs> what did you want to tell me? Which, of course, was her way of saying, take a hike. <laughs> so I'm justifiably proud of myself. I can spot talent light years away. Ladies and gentlemen, there it is. Best goddamn appointment I've ever made. <laughs> she made it. She made it happen. Yeah. That's sad. No one companions now. He's the only one left of the original people, right, basically. Ready, Press the heart, not me, the sonny. Sorry. You might call me by my first name if we get to know each other better. If you, if you last on my show, that is. Can we go from the top of the screen, Mr. Hartnell? Can you make the TV screen come off? The scanner. The scanner. Right. I can't. That was, although more coherently, that was a real speech from an episode. Yeah. Just it was just more coherent and everything. Another set of companions. He looks a bit down with life. We were Doctor Who to go on. Yes. But not with you. Like you said, things are going to change. I'm sorry, sir, but you... Here. Aren't you... I'm, uh, sorry. Very sorry, officer. Yeah, who knows you? Very sorry, officer. You're talking to who? Wait till I tell the kids. They probably love you. on purpose? I don't know. Probably. Why? For... <clears throat> That's better to well, then, meant to be. Who's who?
finally that's the end so I don't have to cry anymore. When he looked over at Matt, I wasn't expecting him to be yes. there. He looked over at Matt Smith, and Matt yes. Smith was just like, "Thank you." Like you could yeah. tell that like yeah. he didn't even have to say anything, mm -hmm. and it was just like, "Thank you for like bringing it this far." Mm. You could just tell like he was like, yeah, just grateful and like that, and that. The doctor knew that it would go far as well, mm -hmm. and that it that that it had a big future, and yeah. to give it up that he had he, and to let it fly he had to give it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was just so powerful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's it's quite a good show, isn't it? Really, it's quite a good. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you're a bit emotional. I'm. Not, I, I... I, it, it impacted me mm -hmm. quite a lot. Yeah, like the William Hart was often portrayed as quite a just grumpy old man type of person, and although that was like part of his persona, there also as they oh, sort of shows. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. It shows there was much more of a like warm side to him, particularly when he got to play the Doctor. That just like sort of like what he'd been waiting for in life. I think was sort of. So overall, what did you think of it? It was amazing. <laughs> it was so brilliant. I get why everyone wanted me to react to it now. Yes. Because then you'd be a blubbering mess. <laughs> well. I thought it was brilliant. Really mm -hmm. amazing. Mm -hmm. I was thinking it was just quite interesting to see how, almost how badly the show started off and like how close it how, came to not being changed. really like dying after six weeks or something. It's because true. it just wasn't working initially. But and how everyone problems believed in it. Yeah. And it's still going yeah, today. Yeah. It's just crazy exactly. how far it's... Yeah. changed and... 57 years later we've still got a new Doctor Who to look forward to since that first episode was made it's, it's pretty crazy, crazy yeah. um, and yeah sadly William Hartnell never really did anything much else after that he got more and more sort of unwell really um, he very briefly appeared or sort of briefly appeared in a story called The Three Doctors Doctor Who Story in 1973 which celebrated the 10th anniversary of the show Aww. but he all he could do was like sit on a chair and read lines of a card and so they sort of had the first three Doctors in a story yeah. but he was very much on the sidelines and that was kind of thing pretty much the last thing he did on television um, before he then passed away in 1975 but because certainly. he really cares about yeah, Doctor Who exactly he, he like I think he wanted to be really involved but then his wife was like in this yeah. like was like no you can't do that because you're too un you're too ill to be yeah. able to do proper stuff so um, that's kind yeah. of sad yeah the illness kind of took away the opportunity to keep doing it but in many ways it's because someone else was able to take it on and it worked is why it's still going because yeah. you know if he just kept and hogging it and it never changed then it would never I would love anywhere, to be able so. to see the first regeneration like yeah. what happened yeah we can we can have a look at that at some yeah. point and um, unfortunately most of the final episode doesn't exist it only they, they had to animate it because they lost the episode was lost oh. but the actual regeneration sequence like about the minute long regeneration sequence sort of from just regenerates to that is existing and oh, can be watched wow. so that's something at least um that's yeah crazy. when he regenerates into patrick Troughton. it only looks very different to anything else we we see patrick but... Troughton isn't talked about much i feel as a doctor <laughs> Well, he's... Like, I hadn't really heard of the name properly. Had you heard of John Pertwee? Yeah. Colin Baker? Yeah. Fair enough. Well, it's because he's, he died, and because he wasn't the first Doctor, and so he... Like, I wouldn't say he's massively, like, less popular or well-known than others. He He's the Doctor that has the least amount of episodes existing. Like, half, about half of his episodes don't exist. Yeah. So it's, like, harder to watch his, his sort of era of the show compared to most others. 
um, which makes people less kind of, I guess, easy to kind like of get Tom to know Baker him. Like Tom Baker. Well, yeah, Tom like... Baker's just well known. Sort of, he's a cultural icon in many ways. And like, I don't. Well, just the, the 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 you know the the scarf and the hat and the long coat are like mm. stereotypical of the Doctor Who, basically. So. Um, yeah, well, there we go. That was an adventure in space and time. And you got a it little insight great. into how Doctor Who all began it back in really 1963. Fun. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, Megan wasn't sure about watching this, but I think no. I think you're pleased that you did watch it in the end. I thought it would be more nerdy. I'm not going to lie. Okay, but I didn't was... think it would be a, like an actual film. Well, it's because this was shown on BBC Two at about nine o'clock on the Thursday evening before the, the special on the Saturday evening. Do you remember watching it? I do remember was watching it. Was it emotional? Actually, was it? I remember thinking it was a very, very good piece of television. Um, but like the fact was this wasn't made for like you know the Doctor Who YouTube channel or something it was going to be no. a pure nerd fest it had to be in enjoyable for someone who wasn't a Doctor Who fan otherwise it wouldn't have worked a piece of television so it was finding that balance between it the two I think, which they nailed and in fact when we're watching it on the 21st of November is exactly seven years to the day since it aired it was the 21st of November 2013 when it aired so Crazy. isn't that a cool fact <laughs> um, but hopefully you guys are enjoying this just a few days later um, so yeah I really really hope you enjoyed that reaction guys we've still got lots more stuff to come up in this special week of celebratory Doctor Who videos I hope you really enjoyed this one um, and do let us know in the comments below what you think of Adventure in Space and Time certainly we think it's a great piece of television but please let us know your thoughts on it in the comments below but apart from that hit the like button and the subscribe button and we'll see you again for a brand new video very soon Bye bye, bye.